Good morning again, everybody. Welcome to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen. Welcome back if you've been here before and a warm welcome if you're a new subscriber. Um, I mentioned um, in oh, a couple of videos ago, probably, it was the video where my um, hole punch broke, my circle punch. Um, that was a second take of making a video um, where I made a policy envelope type pocket thingy. Um, and I did say that in the video that I'd abandoned, I had showed you I would all the things I was going to be using in my next journal. Um, and I hadn't come back and revisited that. So I thought I'd just pop on quickly today and show you all the bits and pieces I'm using for my next journal. This is the one that's been commissioned um, and I'm on a time deadline with this one. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to video um, because I'm going to need to be working on it even when there's people around and I can't video when there's people around because um, if you have seen any of my videos before, you know I work in my kitchen um, our, our downstairs is all open plan so if, if there's other people home it's not practical for me to be trying to film so I thought I'd jump on quickly today while everybody's at work and show you what I've got now this um, journal is going to be loosely um, Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit themed um, so it's going to be sort of greens and browns and that sort of thing and um, the gentleman that it's for loves the colour green. So that's sort of my starting point. And I found this fabric on eBay. Um, so I thought that would be really good for the cover. So um, that arrived a few days ago. So I've got that um, to use for the cover of the journal. And then I'd pulled out this really lovely dark green fabric before I'd seen this I thought I was going to use this for the cover but I've kept this out because I thought this would be good for um you know matting things or you know I just might want to use some fabric through the journal I'm because this is for a gentleman I don't think I'm going to be um you know popping on the tabs and the frills and the sewing that I usually do so I think there's going to be a lot more of other types of embellishments in this journal, sort of pockets and things. Um, excuse the noise in the background. I've given Max a toy to play with to try and keep him quiet. So instead of barking and whining, he's going to be clattering about with his toy. Um, this was a couple of envelopes that I'd made when I was trying to do that other envelope that I've just mentioned. Um, so I've kept them. I thought they might be useful at some point. I've tea dyed some more papers. I've got some lovely variations in colour um, from my tea dyeing this time. And I've got some plain papers, some lined papers and some squared papers. Although the squares are very faint on this now that it's been in its bath. So um, you can't really see the squares. But got some nice patterning on these papers this time though it's funny how they come out different each time you do them so those my papers then I've got this these papers are from um, a paper bag that I've had uh, when I did the video before on this I kept the paper pad out so I could tell you what it is and now I haven't got it in front of me um, it was called in my mind's eye and the, the paper's just plain on the back. So these are the ones you may have seen on my social media. I'd sprayed them with tea out in the garden um, on a nice day. So the backs are, you know, still quite interesting. So I've got a selection of those that I can use. This paper pad must be 10 to 12 years old. These pictures were from a freebie from a magazine making cards and paper graphs um, and I thought some of the woodlandy type pictures might be useful um, for this journal so again I've just sprayed those with tea so that it's not pure white um, 
I'm not sure where this paper is from, but again, I've just sprayed that with tea. This is again from Making Cards and Paper Craft magazine, as is this. And I'm not sure where this paper's come from. So it's some of this stuff has been in my stash for years. So these ones um, were a digital print, I think, or that again, they could have been a freebie from a magazine that I've printed off on my computer and they're where I've sprayed them with tea. This one, the inks bled right through to the other side. This one, the inks just run. Um, so I may use those, I may not. Um, that's another double sheet, again, from the same freebie. Um, that's more tea stained paper. And then this is the kit that I'm using. Um, I will pop a link to that um, in the description. The shop is on Etsy, it's called Purposeful Happiness. And I've just printed this on um, like an ivory colored paper. Um, and for the actual journal pages in the kit, I've printed them double-sided. So I've just, you know, printed them all out once and then popped them back in with some of the backing prints on the other side. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm just going to use these papers to make the pockets and things in the journal and have the actual pages just tea dyed paper or whether I'm going to use these as actual paper uh, pages I'm not sure yet so we'll see as we go through I've also been trying to get a copy of um the Hobbit or the Lord of the Rings from a charity shop I haven't been able to find one anywhere um because I wanted to use some book page in here as well so I'll keep looking out for that um when I go out and about there's, that's the digital kit and then I also pulled out this um, plain card selection that I've got so I thought some of the greens and browns in there might be useful and then obviously I've just got my Tim Holtz paper pad that I use for everything so that's what I'm going to be using um, and I thought that today I would come on and make um, a pocket that I saw Tanya do, uh, that's Tanya at Tatty Treasures. Um, I was watching quite a few of her videos. Um, she's been doing a Woodland Friends series and she made lots of ephemera first with her, um, the kit that she was using, well, it's a paper pad that she was using. Um, and I thought I would do the same for this journal um, I wanted to make lots of, as I said, lots of pockets and interactive bits for this journal because I'm not going to have the frilly bits on there like I usually do. So I thought I would make one of the pockets while I'm on here that Tanya made. Now I need to cut this down first of all. So I'm just going to pause you while I do that so that I don't shake the camera. Be back in a sec. And I'm back again. Um, I've cut this sheet of paper down to eight by eight. This pocket um, was in, I think it was in the last one of the ephemera series that Tanya did. Um, and the video was called Forgotten Pockets, but I will link it in the description so that um, you can go and see um, Tanya doing this pocket. Um, right, which side do I want on the outside? I think I might have this side on the outside. So what she did was folded the sheet of paper in half. And well, that doesn't look very square. No. The trimmer doesn't seem to be trimming completely straight at the moment. Right. 
might just, I don't think it's going to matter. It's going to be a pocket. Right, let's just fold that in half there. And then what she did was she tore from here diagonally down. the pocket and then she used this piece you could do it either way you could either have a double pocket stick that there and have two pockets here or you could pop it round that way and have two pockets there so um, obviously I need to ink those One day, one day I will come on and I will have everything out that I need. One day. Not today though. Right, um, again, I'm using my Stamping Up Baked Brown Sugar. I can't wait to finish this. I just get in such a state every time I use it. Max, come and play with your toy, you're not going out make too much noise out there right so let's ink these edges up they could go back and tear this the other way so you can get rid of some of this um white edge if you want to but i don't mind that i i quite like that look i like it to you know it's obvious that it is a torn piece of paper max quiet So I know this um, ink doesn't show up extremely well. It's not that obvious on this on these papers, but um, it just hides the white of the paper, um, and it just it just gives it a little bit of definition, which is all I want. So let's ink along here. Now, we were I, um, on Julie's channel, Camellia Crafts Designs. She was um, saying the other day that some people find watching YouTubers ink quite boring. But I quite like watching, you know, I, I like watching um, crafters work. I find it relaxing. Um, I'm not going to need the back ink because that's going to be stuck down, isn't it? Yeah, I I like watching people inking their projects as they go along, um, because you know it's it's relaxing. I like to see the whole process, so I don't mind it. Um, but apparently, some people find it boring. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you um. Do you fast forward those bits? I think if it's there, you can watch it if you want to. And if you don't, you can fast forward over that bit. If it's not there, you don't have that option. And I was saying to Julie, and you know, I commented on her video, I like watching you ink. I like listening to you chat away while you're inking. And when I first started making journals, I was interested to see all these steps. You know, you don't... It sounds really obvious, you know, when you've made a few journals, oh, just ink this. But for new people, they, they might be thinking, well, what do you mean just ink it? Well, what's inking? So um, I like to include all that because I think you've got the option then of whether you want to watch it or not. And if you don't want to watch it, you can always just fast forward and um, or, or not what you know, watch channels where they don't include the inking. It's, there's something out there for everybody. So sorry, I'm just grabbing some paper so I can glue here without making too much of a mess on my. Now is my art glitter glue going to play ball today? Right, so I'm just going to hopefully glue along this side edge and along the bottom here. Okay. 
and stick that down. And then this one, I'm going to go along this side. And for a minute there, I thought I'd got that paper upside down, but um, I think it's all right. These obviously need to be up the right way. Come on. It came out just now. What's stopping you coming out now? Wakey, wakey. Oh, that's better. So I hope everybody's well and having a nice day. Join in the big inking debate. <laughs> know whether you mind watching me ink my bits and pieces right let's pop that down there now um when tanya made this it was part of a series that she did that was all inspired by other people and I, did i write down let me see if i wrote down who joanne at treasure books i think she said inspired this um, pocket for her so I will link Tanya's video um, in the description as I say and I, I believe that Tanya will have linked Joanne's video I haven't seen Joanne's video myself um, but I would imagine that Tanya has linked that underneath her video so if you want to go and see um, another couple of takes on the same project head over there uh, I'm sure they would both love to see you but that is my little pocket for today so I've got two tuck spots there and I just like this torn edge look it's a bit different to just doing a normal you know diagonal tuck and I think that this torn edge look is going to be really suitable for this journal so um, I like that. I like the way that's come out. I'm pleased with that. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you found that interesting and I will be back again soon to share more. In the meantime, take care and keep crafting. Bye bye.